Those people are living in hell in Baltimore. Another day, another attack on Baltimore and its congressman. As you know, Congressman Cummings has been there for a long time. He's had a very iron hand on it. President Trump's harsh words about a black majority city and a black lawmaker have fueled fresh and familiar accusations of racism. To that, Trump said, I am the least racist person there is anywhere in the world. If Trump actually feels that way, why then leave himself open to being labeled a racist? It's his style. This analyst says stirring up anger and fear works for the Trump base. The point is to keep them excited, to keep them motivated, to make sure they turn out to vote. But it may put off some who voted for him in 2016. I think the real problem that President Trump has, depending on what issue and where he goes with it, is, is with independent voters. He drives the middle away from supporting him, and that's one of the big dangers in going too far. That hasn't stopped Trump before, suggesting several congresswomen of color, all U.S. citizens, should go back to their own countries, calling some Mexican immigrants rapists or casting other migrants as invaders. But going too far also provides ample room for democratic attacks. He's trying to say it's us versus them. That is not reflective of a leader and certainly not an American leader. Even some Republicans are well, more Trump's or less really telling Trump to cool it. Um, no, I don't like calling areas bad names. Uh, but rather than keep punching each other, let's see if we can make Baltimore a better place. Trump denied there's a larger motivation behind the attacks. There's zero strategy. All it is is I'm pointing out facts. But if they are about riling up his base, critics say the president is, again, choosing political points over national unity. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Washington.